Did you ever wonder on a transatlantic flight how they get all those 2,000 flights per day safely across the Atlantic in an organized fashion? Here's a pretty cool video showing how the North Atlantic track system works. Very cool visual. Here's the different controlling agencies across the Atlantic. 7 p.m. or 00Z. Here go the aircraft departing the east coast of the United States, heading eastbound and forming up on the North Atlantic track system. About a half a dozen tracks, 60 minutes or 60 nautical miles apart. These tracks are designed each day. They change based on weather requirements to take maximum advantage of the winds aloft. And then they peel off the tracks and go on into Europe. And now at uh, what 8Z, they start departing Europe and heading westbound for the United States and points beyond other aircraft cutting across the Atlantic all the way down into South America. So this is all a non-radar environment. All communication is done through CPDLC. That's a fancy way. Here they are leaving Europe, getting out on the tracks on these highways. CPDLC communication, that's basically uh, text communicating between the aircraft and the controllers on the ground. Here you can kind of see the vertical separation of the aircraft as little as one to 2,000 feet vertical separation. What do you do in the event of a contingency? That's why we're, these tracks are 60 nautical miles apart. Uh, if you got a problem, you got to get off the track 45 degrees off, 15 miles offset, then dive down or descend down below the track system and then head off to your diversion airport. And on the Atlantic, you've got lots of opportunities for different diversion airports, unlike going to Hawaii. The North Atlantic track system.